So right now we need to this uh, we need to proceed with our next topic, which is the if else if else statement. So this kind of statement will allow us to um, use uh, multiple if else statements. So basically, there will be a lot or two or uh, two or more than um, conditions or two or more conditions in this type of statement. So we use this when there are multiple conditions of true cases. So just like what I explained earlier. So if you can see, uh, one moment. If you can see, we have a lot of conditions. So we have one first condition, second condition, third condition. So it's actually more than two. So that's why we need to use the if else if else statement for this one. Okay, so we have uh, our syntax here. So it's actually looks the same but uh, but kanilang ang nalahi which is the else if or is actually uh, doesn't have any um, space okay so please take note on that and again no condition for the else let's proceed so we have this kind of example so for this example uh, we are actually getting um, the date of our statement or sorry we are actually getting uh, we are actually um, the value inputted let's assume that the value inputted by the user it's August so if the value inputted by the user it's August it will go directly to the second um, condition then it will display happy Independence Day what if the user inputted January so if it's January it will um, display or echo happy republic day if it's none it's um if not january and also august for example if the user inputted february it will go, go directly to else and it will display nothing to show okay i have another activity here for you and i will be showing this one so we would still need to create a php script that will determine who's the largest inputted integer by the user uh, we should assume that the user um, the user has the option to compare the three integers okay so let's try solving it one moment mm -hmm. My visual studio it's here okay let me go ahead and copy this one one moment Mm -hmm. I will be saving it. If else, if else statement one dot php. Okay, largest among three integers. So I'll be creating another input type, which is the third one then make sure to change the val to a uh, val2 to, to val3 and here i'll just go ahead and show you how to do it then dollar sign underscore post then this one then single quotation then value three semicolon so in this part all you need to do is to use an if statement so if Mm, num one is greater than or equal to num two and num one it's greater than or equal to the num three basically it it should show echo num one is the largest integer then let's create another if sorry else if let's create another condition for this condition we are basically comparing now the I'm sorry I forgot this one we're actually comparing now the the num2 if this is greater than or equal to the num1 and 
num2 is greater than or equal to the num3. So if the condition is true, one moment, if the condition is true, it will show the largest um, num2 should be the largest integer. Okay, so let's have another one. So I'll be changing this one to 3 and 3. This should be 2. One moment. Okay, there. So num3 is the largest number, largest integer. For the else, basically here for the else, since we are only expecting three results, we can actually um, remove, uh, this is actually, we can actually remove this one. All I need to do is just to put a comment and just do the else here. But actually, you can still use this one for if you are not kung dili mo uh, kung uh, dili mo sure na mugawa si else. You can actually still use this. So let's save it and let's try if this will work. So local host. Oh, what happened to this one? Mm -hmm. One moment. Mm -hmm. I think okay let's see we'll open that so for example 34 35 36 so if you will click submit of course it should be 36 okay 36 is the largest integer but I don't have any spaces I need to put space there save it okay after that one let's see if um, 45 this one 76 76 is the largest integer correct next we have 45 78 1 2 3 1 2 3 is the largest integer so we got it right there you go that's for the if else if statement so again please take note that if you have more than two conditions you can actually use the if else if statement